How many dogs do you know that have a Bentley, a Ferrari, a Porsche, and a Beamer? I'm gonna go bold, and I'm gonna say that Luigi Maestro has the largest car collection in the United States, and possibly out of any dog on planet Earth. Luigi Maestro, the five-year-old Shih Tzu, has a car collection that many New Yorkers could only dream of. Humans can walk too. Why do we have cars, right? We have cars because even though we can walk, we enjoy traveling, so we'll take a plane, taking a drive, dogs too. And they like walks, but it's just more fun, right? So I started with the BMW, and then there's a piece of me that's like, let's see what the Ferrari's like, becomes an addiction. As well as his unusual collection of cars, Luigi also has an impressive wardrobe full of canine fashion. Would you want to wear this or this outfit, Luigi? What do you think? Okay. Maybe you don't like any of those. Luigi, his whole posture changes when he puts on a little outfit. This little pajama set or this cool football outfit, Luigi looks swaggers on the street. He enjoys it. And I enjoy it too. It's fun. It's cute. Brings out his personality. <laughs> Spoiling is really an interesting word to me because I used to be an English teacher, so I do tend to think about the word a lot. Spoil means to ruin. And so when I'm buying a living being a toy that makes him smile, or I'm putting on a little outfit that gives him attention, or I'm taking him to the park and he's happy, am I making him worse? No, I don't think so. I thought I would definitely get some people rolling their eyes. Yeah. Maybe they do once we've whizzed past. I had never anticipated the warmth, the friendliness of New Yorkers. I've been with um, elderly New Yorkers who have told me, I have never seen anything like this in my life. Thank you for making me smile. It's funny, I would smile, wouldn't you? This dog car is amazing. I have two dogs and I would love to put them in this, quite frankly. It would be probably the best day of their lives, so super cool. That's wonderful. I mean, it's so funny and entertaining. I know the kids get a kick out of it. I got a kick out of it. I've never seen that like that before in my life. That was real good. I liked it. That made my day. Luigi's my heart. He just, I look at him and I just feel so happy. I just, I adore him. I love him like a child. Who wouldn't? My poor mom, she is a little upset. She says that she doesn't want four-legged grandchildren. You go back to Thomas Malthus's theory that we are an overpopulated planet. I think it's wonderful that there are animal enthused people who view animals as their little babies and are not bringing more kids into the world. I'm sorry, Mom. Luigi, would you prefer to drive than do this interview? Yeah. He's at it. So boring. He's so bored. He is very dramatic. Don't, the baby Jesus, what? What happened? This interview is just the most boring thing. Okay, I'm sorry.